Trimble Business Center Heavy Construction Edition has some great tools to create a presentation or a realistic model uh, of your site from simply a surface model. You can see here I have a surface model called my finished design and it encompasses my road and my pond and my parking and building and it's just a triangulated surface. In addition to that I've used my categories and in my categories I have under design I've got certain layers that contain potential boundaries so the software knows which objects are boundaries and which aren't. And then the other piece I have is my material site improvement manager and here you basically set up your materials like my pond I can you know determine how I want it measured but for the rendering and the um, texture you come down here for your shading and I've applied a JPEG to that texture to get the textures is actually quite easy you just go out to Google do a search for um, surface textures or grass textures or water textures and you select the images there and you can see that you can get all kinds of images. You get brushed concrete, you can get uh, polished concrete, you can get straw, whatever image you want you can actually just right click on it, save that image as a JPEG and then when you go into your improvement manager you're basically just adding it as the texture. So here I came in and I added the water JPEG um, for my landscaping, I've got some riprap, some seed, and some sod. So under riprap, I'm using that riprap JPEG, so it's going to use that as a pattern. And you can control the size of it as well. If you notice here, I'm using a 5x5, five five, where my pond, I'm using a 50, so it gives me just a different look. Once you set those up, it's pretty much uh, just a matter of applying the texture. So on the Surface tab, I've got the Surface Texture tool. And there's a couple other ways that you can do this. You can make it part of your, um, under data or takeoff, you can make it part of your site regions. So when you apply your site improvement areas, it'll use the same material and the same texture. But I'm going to do the surface uh, option here, which is surface texture. Select a surface. We'll give it a name. Let's call it pond. Uh, I'll put it on a layer called site materials. And then I'll just come down, I'll grab my material. So if I come in and I grab the uh, pond, and you know, I probably should call that water. And I'm just going to pick a spot within the pond. And then while we're here, let's go ahead and call it a uh, riprap. And we'll go ahead and put that in. This may be grass, this may be dirt, or some type of gravel, or some other type of material, but we're going to put riprap. Um, we got some leftover from the blasting of our rock wall there. So under landscaping up here, I've got riprap. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to come in and put that here. Now when I'm done with that, because um, I don't have my surface set to rebuild automatic, I'm just going to right click on it and tell it to rebuild the surface. When it rebuilds the surface, it will apply the material. So now you'll see here that it shows up with water and riprap. So now I got my textures. It looks pretty good in 3D. You'll also notice in my 3D view I've got some uh, objects such as an excavator here working on my pond. I've got trees, I've got people. If we come in here, i got some cars, some signs, light poles. Uh, the building, I've got uh, some trash cans, I even got uh, soda machines, I've got a bike rack. If I work my way around the back, you can see that I've got uh, even a truck in the back. Now all those objects, even the building, came from SketchUp. So if you go to SketchUp, you can uh, go to the 3D warehouse and find all kinds of different objects. You open them up in SketchUp and I export them out as an IFC file and I drag and drop that IFC file into Business Center and I place it where I want. Then once you have that, if you come in and select a surface, you can do a 3D drive view. And what this does, it creates another view and I'm just gonna float this view where I'm able to kind of go around my site. So I can actually use this to verify that my site looks good. I can use it to show, to present um, to others. So here I can just use my mouse and actually you know look around the site or if I set a speed I can come down here and, and put a speed let's start at 10 and then click start and then if I use my cursors you can see I can drive around the site so it's just kinda working its way around if I use my left arrow I can turn and it's gonna follow my site um, it will let me adjust the height so I can come in here and actually adjust the height of the uh, a view that I'm looking at, I can tell it um, uh, different uh, uh, target heights, basically, of what I'm what I want to see. So, 
here I'm just going you know drive around I can see my utilities that I have in there um, in the back here is I just use my cursor so I'm just navigating with my arrow keys on my keyboard and you can see that I can see the truck in the back and the loading dock and as I come around just let it work its way around the back of the building here um, I can speed up a little bit by hitting the up arrow and we can work our way down through the parking here and you can see I got a high spot in my in my road there I'm actually going up the side of the bank here there's my excavator working on my pond and my pond on my site so again I can fast forward uh, by just speeding up a little bit I can slow down and then I can slow it down to a stop and turn the other direction I can come in here and pan and look slowly around and just let it work its way out around the site so again a lot of different ways that you can view this um, it you know it's not a gonna make a photorealistic image but or a model but it, it is a model it's got texture and can be pretty handy when you're trying to show or demonstrate something to somebody uh, on your site so if you want to know more about Business Center Heavy Construction Edition, contact your local site tech dealer.